Hello, peeps. Hello, lovely people. It's a glorious day today. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be talking about things we need to do to actually stop the slavery system in Nigeria and Africa as a whole. Enough of this slavery system in Nigeria and Africa. Now, we have to really check it out from the pre-colonial times to the post-colonial and down to where we are today. You see, when the colonial predators occupied our na nation and continent, they formed certain systems, disrupting the systems we had on ground, you know, calling those systems primitive, bad, evil, and stuff like that. So they, they formed certain systems. Those systems were created for control. Now, I want us to understand this. Those systems were created for control so they could control and, you know, have us obeying, have us perfectly enslaved and have us killed and stuff like that. You know, and unfortunately for us, without any modification, we just took the rules as they were during the British era and continued the same systems after our so-called independence, the system of politics, administration, administration, economics, judiciary, education, religion, especially, and so on. See, because of this, it was like we were driving with our brakes on. It doesn't matter what we do. It goes only on that speed. It doesn't pick up speed because all the systems were designed to control and never were designed to control and never designed to liberate the people. All the systems were shackles, so many shackles within a shackle that no matter what you do or what you think, no matter what what right thing you're doing, it's not getting ahead because we did not reinvent the systems for a free nation. We only inherited systems of an occupied nation and tried to run a free nation with it. Our leaders never helped matters as they refused to think in the right direction. While they remain slaves, puppets and stooge of the colonial predators. Most of us ha has lost possibilities and have suffered immensely because of this kind of systems. And it will never get better unless we change the systems to our own organized pre-colonial systems. Know thyself and be thyself. But how do we be ourselves where we don't even know ourselves but what the colonial predators had made of us in all of these ramifications? We should take a cue from China, India and some other countries who have delivered themselves from the shackles of colonial hold of religion, most especially politics, economics, judiciary, education and so on which is why they are now flying high in world affairs. Or else, hmm, we shall be perpetual slaves and keep being at the bottom rung of everything on this planet. We need to deliver ourselves. We need to get out of this bonds of slavery. We need to start thinking right. We need to, 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 to do away with all these years and hundreds of years of brainwash and indoctrination we need to be ourselves as Africans. We need to come back home. All right. I hope you learn a few things from this. And let us all start doing that critical thinking we need to do to get, a, to get us out of this. Until I come your way again, love, peace, joy, bliss, and ecstasy. Bye.